Hey guys, I'm back today with another video and we are going to get into some bag talk and bag show and tell. But before I get started on all the details, please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already to my channel. And if you are subscribed, make sure you turn your notifications on because you do not want to miss out on any of my videos. Today I'm going to be showing you this beauty, which is the Speedy 20. I've been having this for about a month now and I am absolutely in love with this. This is definitely going to stay in my collection. I was not sure if I was going to be able to get my hands on it because when I seen this for pre-order, I was like, eh, I'm not gonna get it. And then the video started coming out and I was like, uh, yeah. So I contacted my CA and she is in Dallas and she said that it was going to be pretty hard to get but she would put me on a wait list. And so I didn't think I was gonna be able to get it this year but she texted me and was like, hey, do you still want the bag? And I was like, uh, yeah, I do. So yeah, that's how I ended up getting it. I paid for it and it got sent here the next day. So very happy to have this in my collection. So this is the box that this bag comes in, of course. The bag came in this dust bag. I always try to keep my dust bags, even though I don't store my bags in the dust bag. The bag also came with this textile strap. I picked the color black, even though this does come in pink also, but I picked the color black because I was like, I feel like I can do just a little bit more with this. So I was like, let me just go ahead and get the black strap. I do like that this bag does come with a detachable option so that you can switch your straps up. You don't have to just keep this one. Now me personally, I'm probably going to sell this strap. And the reason why is because I'm a fan of the fabric. I feel like this is going to get super dirty very quick and I don't have time to be you know, babying the strap. I just don't. <laughs> and it also sits very high on me. It sits very high. So this is the details of the strap. And of course, I would try to get some better footage for you guys in a more natural lighting, but that is what the strap looks like in the front. And then this is what the strap looks like in the back. Very, very pretty. But like I said, this material, you know, it's not coated or anything. So if it gets dirty, it's gonna get dirty. The bag also does come with the lock and key so that you can lock the bag up. Just depends on where you are going. I usually don't like to put mine on there and keep it on there, but sometimes I do, just depending on how I feel. So this is this beauty right here. This one was made in France. Um, I don't know the date code because now they microchip their bag. So I didn't even think to ask when it was sent to me. And that's absolutely fine. I'm not worried about it. Long as the bag is in good condition, there's no flaws or anything, then I don't care where it was made at. I have had three Speedies, okay? This is my fourth. I've had a Nano Speedy, too small. I've had a Speedy 25, kind of just right, but a little bit too big still. And I've had a Speedy 30, which is just entirely too big. The Speedy 30 was my first Louis Vuitton bag, the first bag. And then I said, it's too big. That's when I got the 25 and then I got the Nano and I said, well, girl, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? So this one right here is the perfect size in my opinion, especially if you are somebody who just does not carry a lot. And even if you need to carry just a little bit more, it's going to fit and it's going to fit comfortably. This canvas does feel a bit thicker. It's not slouchy like the Speedy 25, the 30 and the Nano. This one is a little bit more structured. So that's how it's going to sit on you. It's not gonna kind of slouch in like the other ones have. You have your vachetta all around this bag. I went ahead and sprayed mine with repellent. Did not mess up the bag. That's usually what I do to my vachetta bags anyway, because this one does not come pre-treated already. So it will start off light and then the more you handle it, depending on sun, depending on weather, oils on your hand, it will start to eventually get darker over time. And I use this Apple brand. I got this off of Amazon. This is the Rain and Stain Repellent. It does come with these two zippers right here. So as you guys can see, it does go a little bit further down than the other bags. And you have the area up here where you can add your lock. And I'm just gonna open this up real quick and show you guys the inside. Look at that beautiful red interior. It does have a little pocket right there. But like I said, this opening is just way more comfortable than the other bags because those openings are a bit small getting in and out. Y'all probably are like, well, if you're gonna sell that strap, what strap do you plan on wearing? I already had a LV monogram strap in my collection. So I have this strap right here that I can add 
or I have this Vachetta strap that I picked up from Amazon. Yes, Amazon, because your girl was not trying to spend a few hundred dollars on no extra strap. And I feel like, I feel like it pretty much matches well. And that's all that I was worried about was if it was going to match well. Um, the glazing on this looks good. It pretty much matches the bag also. I will leave the link down below for this strap if anyone is interested. Also gonna give you some mod shots real quick just to show you guys what I mean when I say the textile strap is entirely too short. Depending on how much you weigh, depending on your chest area, you know, if you got some extra stomach or flat stomach, how much hips you got, your bag is going to sit differently compared to other people. Seeing people wear the bag sits fine with that textile strap. But for me, because I got some extra going on up in here, then yes, it's not going to sit exactly where I want it to sit. So with those other straps, I feel like it's more comfortable on where I can get in and out the bag without feeling like I have to take it off. Now with this textile strap, can I wear it as a shoulder bag? And I'll show you guys if I wanted to just wear it on my shoulder. I could, but like I said, the strap is beautiful. It's just that I just have a feeling this is going to get dirty. Like if I have on makeup, I gotta make up right now. I'm not gonna, you know, I ain't gonna be too rough with this. But if I had on makeup or if I was out eating for the day and I still had a little bit of something left on my hand, the last thing I wanna worry about is getting a stain on this strap. But enough of that chit chat. I know you guys want to see what fits in this bag. That is exactly what y'all love to see because I love to see it too when I'm watching bag videos. Grab a little bit extra to show you guys what fits if you want to carry a little bit extra and also what I would carry for every day. Better lighting what the strap looks like. And then that is the front again. Super pretty. Without that lighting looking harsh. Cause on my end, I couldn't tell if y'all could see it really good. I'm actually going to switch out of my Marc Jacobs um, mini bag because I needed to carry a little bit extra last week. So I'm gonna see what I can fit in this one. Of course I have my toiletry 19 in my Marc Jacobs bag. This is not gonna fit. I'm not even gonna try to force it. It's not. <laughs> But hey, that's what I had in the bag, but it's not gonna go. One of the things that I always carry, this is my oldest piece in my collection. This is my mini pochette. So this is going to fit in perfectly. And you guys can see how much room I have left. I'm gonna do these wet ones because of the bag color on the inside. I don't want it to get dirty. So I have this in here now because sometimes these can't come open and get onto things and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to place that in there. Next, I have my card holder that I'm going to place in. And you could put that in that pocket, but we'll see. And then of course I have my AirPods, never leave home without these. And then I have my car keys. I always carry an extra mask for my youngest daughter because most of the masks in my car are for, you know, the older folks. So I always carry an extra mask just in case we're going somewhere. I always carry an extra mask in my purse because sometimes I get out of the car and totally forget even though I have some in the car. <laughs> and then I always carry a hair tie just in case somebody needs to put their hair in a ponytail. I'll place that in that little pocket. And then what I'm going to grab out of here is my hand sanitizer. I'll place that in, that goes in. The thing I need out of here is hand cream. So I'm just gonna place it. You that. guys can see I have a ton of room left, like a ton of room and it's not heavy at all. So I'm just going to zip this up and everything closes. There's no bulging on the side, still looks good. So this is what I would usually carry pretty much for every day. Um, if I had a smaller bag, I would not carry my mini pochette. I would just carry my card holder. So now I'm gonna just take a few things out of here and replace some things. I'm pretty sure you guys wanna see if a water bottle is going to fit. So let's see if I can put a water bottle in here. I have this full size water bottle right here. And let's see if it'll go in there. And it actually does fit. I have a mini umbrella. That fits in there also. And I wouldn't carry my mini pochette if I'm carrying all that. 
I can still put my card holder in there. Can't go without the hand sanitizer. I can go without the wipes before I go without the hand sanitizer. Next, I will carry my ear pods, my keys, and of course the mask and lotion. Let's see if I can zip it up comfortably without it, without me having to force it. And it fits, it's heavy, <laughs> but it fits. So I probably would not be carrying this if it does decide to rain. I, I have other bags that I can just use if I wanted to. But you guys can see that you get a ton of room in this bag. Now, when I used to carry my Nano Speedy, if I wanted to put my mini pochette in, I used to have to turn it an awkward way or my phone. And that's one thing I did not put in here. So let's pack this as if I'm just carrying my phone and a few little essentials. So I'll just put my card holder right here in this slot. And then I'll take my phone. I'll put my AirPods. Y'all, my hands ashy. It's because I washed them. I didn't want to get any oils or anything on um, the straps just because I just did my hair. And then I'll put this lotion in here. Hand sanitizer. Of course, the extra mask. And my keys. Now, if Jada is coming with me, I always like to carry wipes. Because she might need her hands wiped. And as you guys can see, Tons of room left. Can easily close this bag up with no problem. But let me know what you guys think about this Speedy 20. I think that this is a beautiful bag. Like I said, I feel like this is a great size. What make it even better is if they came out with the Damiera Bean style, just because I feel like that one is so carefree. You don't have to worry about the leather. If it's raining, you can still wear it and not worry about getting spots on your vachette and everything. So that would be great if they came out with that. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to turn those notifications on again. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do not bite. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.